Madam Speaker, I, I didn't plan to speak, but when I saw item three in the memorandum of objects and reasons, I had to get up. And I'm going to tell you why I get up. To great applause on this side, every time the Minister of Finance comes to Parliament, he announces how well the economy is doing. And let me remind you, for the fiscal year that we are in, the government has collected over $80 billion above its own estimates. Tax revenues, $80 billion. $80 billion. $80 billion. I say it because it is all of Jamaica who pays it in more GCT, in SCT on imports, all of Jamaica. Yeah. Right? 80 billion more this financial year. <laughs> Madam Speaker, the cost of holding an election is about $1.5 billion. In the height of COVID, when the economy fell by 13% of GDP, when we had to close our airports and seaports, when we lost our tourism industry, the government called a general election. Early. September 2020, early. early, when the economy had lost 13% of GDP, and we lost billions of dollars in revenue. So for you to come here with Them this lie. reason, number three, from the paper, when the budget table last week, last week budget, we don't know if you read it yet, joke business, it's better, joke business. It's better you never put this on the paper, Desmond. It's better you never put this on the paper. We wouldn't talk. Yeah. Madam Speaker, a government has a responsibility to budget for an election. They have a responsibility in good times and bad times. Madam Speaker, all right, all right, Tony. In good times and bad times, you have a responsibility to budget for an election. This election was known. It never catch anybody like Nicodemus in the night. It is overdue. The government has the revenues to do it. But the government is afraid to face the people. They are afraid to face the people. And you come here with this reason about economic uncertainty. When last week, you were trumpeting how the Financial Times say you have a miracle, stand innovation, how great the economy is doing, and you put on paper economic reasons for not calling the election. I say shame. Yeah, man. I say shame. shame. Face the people. Yeah. Make the people them decide. Yeah. Make the people decide. Yeah. So I stand in opposition to this. Yeah. The minister don't even believe what he must say. He don't even believe what he really say. Right? You never plan to bring it here. Parliament adjourn and we have to come back and you come bring it here. Yeah. We must do better than this. Yeah. We know the PMP postpone election too, you know. So we have had it on both sides. But we made a departure yeah. when we brought the three strategic bills for, for that very reason, you know. Because we say one, a minister can just whimsically keep postponing local government elections. Right? So the point is. We must do better. We have vacancies where people have been elevated to parliament. We have vacancies where people have died or migrated. The people deserve to make their choice of whoever they want. And the government must be free of the people by coming here, frankly, with this rubbish argument. <laughs>